If somebody needed help, so we felt like we could help them. 7.8 miles. The mountains are gorgeous. We're Kristen and Sam, and we are travel nurses. This assignment, we are exploring all that Idaho has to offer, and this week in the Sawtooth Mountains. Today we have a great adventure for us planned. We're going to the Sawtooth Mountains to do some hiking. So we started off with me driving, but if you know me, you know that I'm not a very good driver. Plus, we started getting in the mountains. Sam was just getting too irritated because I was going slow, so he took over. Even though we're from Texas, I don't drive like I'm from Texas, especially in the mountains, just because we spent like the last two years travel, no, travel nursing in the mountain areas. So I'm very comfortable driving. Like obviously I don't drive fast, but I don't also drive like someone who's never driven in the mountains before. So AKA Kristen. But you know what? It worked out just fine because we got to this really pretty part of the road, which it's still pretty. And I got to get some cool shots for you guys. So we just pulled off on the side of the road because somebody needed help, so we felt like we could help them. Remember that time we got stuck in the mountains and we said we owe somebody a favor? Well, this is it. Their tire just completely blew off. It's not flat, it just like came off, which is really weird. So Sam found his little tools and we're gonna get the job done. Hi friends. So we weren't able to help, but we were able to find help for them eventually. So now we're back on our little road trip to the Sawtooths. So it's about 1220. We're getting hungry. So do you want to eat lunch now? While sure. we're in this traffic jam, might as well. I came prepared and packed sandwiches and some fruit. Did you call it a sandwich? Sandwich. It's a sandwich. <laughs> Him right now, today. I'm chill as a cucumber. So we finally made it to the Sawtooth Mountains. Today we're hiking Bench Lakes Trail. We just made it to the trailhead and it's combined with this Redfish Trailhead. There's a bunch of trails that go off of it and I'm super excited about this one because we're going to see some beautiful views. It's been a while since little Samuel's been on a trail. How you feel? It feels pretty nice to be in the woods again. I love the smell of pine. I say that almost every time I hike in pine. <laughs> so this hike fully is 7.8 miles. You started where we did. Now you can take a boat shuttle across the Redfish Lake, the lake you just saw here, which will cut off about a mile or so. You do have to pay some money for it, so it's your judgment. You'll end at the same place, but just a little bit shorter. It's fun time. It's hot out here. You want a bun, Sam? Too much work. The view off of the trail when the mountains peek up over the trees, pretty awesome. She is my favorite. Looks like she had a crown on. She's the queen of the sawtooths. You guys, I can't get over this view. It's so lush. The mountains are gorgeous. You almost have a 360 view. Wow. He's a speed demon. Speed demon. Please tell me I'm not the only woman who hikes with their husband or significant other. And the husband gets so far ahead, you just can't keep up. So you end up hiking alone a lot of times. <laughs> I know, I know, plenty of you are out there. Please leave a comment down below. That's you. Still so dang good. I can't stop saying that. But it's like, I don't know, not just pine. It's like more flowery smells too. These plants are what smell so good. They have like little small berries. They're kind of dried out, you can't tell, but. Almost. 
The next one. Just a few few yards that way. I discreetly got the horses on camera. I didn't want to be obvious. <laughs> They're horses. So I think technically there's three lakes. The first one we started at was the Redfish Lake. Then this one, then there's a third lake not far past this one. But look at this view. It's really cool with the mountains here. We made it to Bench Lakes. Wow, this thing's gorgeous. Sam said he found us a view and a seat. It's like the perfect view to me. So that trail's pretty awesome. Although, it's a very long one. So if you wanna do this, be prepared to refer it to take your whole day out. <laughs> <laughs> but I think I don't know, something about this hike really wanted me to go to a brewery. If you know me, I don't drink beer, but I'm just kind of feeling like I want a light and fruity beer. For some reason, I don't know, Sam must have rubbed off on me. I've grinded her, after 10 years of being with her, I've grinded her down to where she will, she will now accept a beer, but it has to be on draft. Yeah, I don't know. We'll see. I've never said this in my life, that I've wanted a beer. Have I ever said that in my life? Nope, we're going the right way. I don't know. Let's figure it out. You're moving kind of slow, Grandma. We're not going to go no breweries if you keep moving like a grandma. No offense to the grandmas out there. <laughs> Cheers. You stole my fish. Mm -hmm. Chicken, fish, by the lake equals a good time. You know, I'm not mad at the beer. I think I was so thirsty I could drink anything. I'm wearing her down, guys. I'm wearing her down. She's about to join the dark side of the forest. Our day in the Saltus was freaking awesome. We're so sad that we have to go back. I wish we could see a lot more of the Saltus bounce, but unfortunately, our schedules, our work schedules are just really complete opposite of each other. So it's kind of hard to plan things nowadays, but Anyways, we're super excited you decided to join us on our hike in the Sawtooth, and thanks so much for watching. So we made it to Bear's Lake. Bear? We made it to Bench Lake. Well, I don't know. Sawtooth Wilderness. Enter at your own risk. <laughs>